Hi, I'm Bronze Age Brian. You might remember me from such films as Breakfast at Mark Jewelers and Valley of the Action Figures. But now here's something you'll really like. Another edition of Cover By with Magic Lasso and the gang. What's up? I'm excited to be with you today for another cover by my friends Comics for Thomas and Cookie from Just a Little Podcast are standing by. There are links to their YouTube channels in the description for this video, so if you're not sub to their channels, make sure to do so when you wrap up watching today's cover by. The book we're going to decide between is one that you might have recently seen at your local comic book store. It just came out last month, January of 2022. It's Inferno, volume number two, issue number four. And you got a little preview here of what both covers look like that we're gonna decide between. One's gonna win, and the other one we're going to say bye to, because that's how we do cover bye. With first thought comments on these issues, here's Comics for Thomas. So we have Inferno uh, number four from volume two. Um, I've never read any Inferno. Um, obviously, this is a Marvel comic, um, but this A cover, it, it's definitely getting me. I, I like the color um, scheme that's going on here um, and just the art itself. Um, I, I love that eerie um, feel to it that's going on. Even just even the little things like the leaves kind of blowing. Um, and you know, obviously the the cape and and what's going on there. It's, it's this is a really nice cover. Um, the again, you know, the 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 wording, the inferno kind of doesn't go with the cover scheme. But there's nothing. I mean, they you can only do so much with that, obviously. Um, but uh, I would definitely be interested to see what's going on in, in this comic, which is, which is pretty cool that issue number four would kind of catch me like that. So. So now we have the B cover. Um, this is a variant and um, talk about less is more. Uh, I really, really enjoy what's going on here. Um, and, you know, I was saying about the A cover where the Inferno, where the, the actual wording was red, like this one really, really works with the, with the blue and the yellow with everything that's going on in this cover. And it's just so simple. I love the two claws that are coming into the hand. Um, just the way it's just really, really simply drawn. Um, I like that even on the arm, um, it just kind of like, it's scratched, you know, it's like, it's like you're, you're, you're painting and you just kind of went towards the end, right? So, um, I would, this is a cover that I would probably look up online to see if there's a Virgin variant for. Not that I wouldn't for A, um, but this one that has that feeling, right? Because again, you know, less is more, and, and that's what really what a virgin variant as well. So, um, some some good cover options here. So we'll see. Okay, and sliding down Florida way, Cookie from Just a Little Podcast checks in now with his first thought comments. What's going on, y'all? Cookie from Just a Little Podcast, and we're back for cover by. So I'm gonna go and look at this stuff fresh with fresh eyes. I. I have not seen these covers and I have no idea what they're about besides the title of Inferno Volume 2, issue number 4. So I I think I picked up maybe the first issue of this and I picked up the Art Germ cover and I, I loved it. I read the first bit of it. Uh, Hickman is a great, great writer. I think he does fantastic stuff. And I, I loved his Powers of Ten and House of Ten and Powers of X and House of X. How, and I have not been drinking, guys. I just cut off of work. I have not been drinking to my knowledge. Anyways, um, let's get it started with uh, Inferno Volume 2, issue number 4, cover A. And oh my goodness. Wow. That is a freaking sweet cover. Oh my goodness. I am loving this cover. So we, we, we have... Wow. The, the split between the face. I, I love the imagery that's that being brought here you have um you have mystique looking at the um, the actual tombstone or the grave of somebody i don't know exactly what it is i never read the issues but the detail on this thing is so so vivid and so sick of her 
transformation um, going from like a human aspect feel into her mutant aspects feel. I, I think the detail on this is insane and you can tell that there's a lot of a lot of guilt and a lot of sorrow within her face in the detail that's being being drawn here. I love the um, the much muscle atrophy that she has going on. I love the cape and the wind, the leaves blowing in the wind. You can tell it's definitely like a very dark and gloomy, stormy esque feel to it. I really like this cover a lot. All right, let me go to cover B. All right, cover we. That is dope. Oh my goodness. I'm loving both these covers. I I love the simplicity of this. I love the the 2D feel and you're still getting glimmers of 3D like with the shadowing everything about this is wow i'm loving honestly both these covers i don't know how i'm gonna pick this i know i say this each week i really do say this each week and i don't know how i'm gonna go and pick these covers because i genuinely love i'm gonna go back to cover it real quick oh wow oh my goodness i have no idea what i'm gonna pick there's cover b Oh, I'm speechless. I am thoroughly speechless on both these covers. I love them both. Fantastic job. I gotta, I feel like I gotta get these covers. I really feel like I gotta get, get they're so, stay tuned. I'm gonna pick a cover. Stay tuned. Thanks, Cookie. I'm not very familiar with the Inferno title, so to speak. I am aware of what Hickman has been doing with the X-Men since he took over, and I am aware that I believe that this is his final installment, or this issue was his final installment, of contributing to that series. So I understand the significance when I look at the A cover of seeing Mystique standing there at the grave of Destiny, and she's got a little bit of morphing going on. You can tell maybe it's involuntary because she's thinking about Destiny that she's morphed into her a little bit. The perspective is cool with a little bit of the tree branches up in the uh, left corner. I like that. And I like the coloring on this a lot too. Turning to the B cover right now. I think sometimes when you have a cover that has no background to it, it really helps to make the main image stand out, obviously. And here we have Mystique with a little bit of Wolverine morphed in there. That's interesting. At first I thought maybe it was a little bit of several different X-Men morphed in there, but the more I look closer at it, it was Wolverine, at least I'm pretty sure it is. So that's cool. If this had been a Virgin cover, this would even pop more, I think. I can see how collectors would really dig the B cover for sure though. Usually I need a moment or so to think things over which way I'm going to end up voting. But today, I don't. 100% without a doubt, I know which way I'm leaning. From listening to my first thought comments, have you been able to decide which way I'm leaning? If you said the A cover, you're absolutely right. I love this cover. The first time I saw the solicitations for this, I went, wow, that's a cover. And I knew it would be perfect for cover by. I love the coloring to it. I love... You know, that Mystique wanting Destiny resurrected has been a big theme to this Hickman era of X-Men as they're on Krakoa. And I love her standing there mourning Destiny once again. I think I'm just drawn to graveyard covers overall. I think it adds a little bit of a feel to it. I always seem to really enjoy a good graveyard cover, and this for sure is a good graveyard cover. Not that the B cover was bad, but it just wasn't... It just didn't give me a whole lot. I could see where a lot of people would really dig the B cover. But for me, it is the A cover without a doubt, 100% all the way through. I want to see if my panelists agree with me or not. So with their pick, we'll head back now to Comics for Thomas. So this is a tough choice. I am going to go with cover B. It just it calls to my collecting. Um, if you've watched any videos, uh, I don't know how much I, I've referred to you know, just virgin variants and, and um, you know, just th those fantastic covers. And this one is so close to it. Um, I, there's enough going on with, with B cover for me to make that decision. Um, but I would have no problem owning both of these books. I think it was a great selection. Well, look at that. We have one vote for the A cover, one vote for the B cover. 
Cookie from Just a Little Podcast, it's up to you to pick the winner and break this tie. All right, so after much deliberation and speaking to my counsel, having a few drinks with them, we're talking back and forth. We're trying to share ideas of which cover is the cover to pick. And it's, I had a few drinks. I'm not going to lie, I had a few drinks. And I still don't know which cover I'm going to pick. I mean, both these covers are really exceptionally well done. And they both scream out so much detail, vibrancy, color contrast. The, the character is very developed, or I guess characters, because she can transform into different... Anyways, I, I love both these characters and the way that they are done in different ways. One is very much an abstract way. The other one is very much like a realist feel. Both have that sense of sorrow in their face, just depicted in a different form. Um, I think I'm going to go with cover B. I think cover B has a little bit more vibrancy. It kind of speaks my language a little bit better. Um, I love the fact that it's it's predominantly a white background where your eyes solely focus on the main focal point of the actual cover. Minus, of course, the heading on there and all that stuff. You, your main focal point is the character and what they're trying to express, what they're trying to say through this artwork. And I love it very much so. So I think cover A is a great pick. But I think cover B overall for me is what's going to do it. And since I am the deciding factor, I get to go and do what Ryan does all the time. So Magic Lasso, hopefully I can do a good job here. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to cover by. And unfortunately, a cover has to go. So we have to go and say bye to cover A. Bye-bye. Till next time. See you never. Actually, I might go and pick up this book, but see you never. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Cover By. Until next time, we'll see you guys soon. I know Ryan's probably going to go and cut all of this crap out because he's going to say, you did a good job, but it's not me. It's not my style, and this is not your show, Cookie. So stop stealing the thunder. So what do you think of the panel's decision and their justifications for it? Agree or disagree? Leave a comment below and let me know which one you would have picked. Thanks for watching this cover by video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll take this opportunity to do so. It's a great way to show growth to the channel. Share this cover by video and the channel with someone that you think might enjoy it. It's another great way to help me grow my channel. I always appreciate it. Looking forward to reading your comments below. Thank you again for being part of today's cover by. We're back in two weeks, the first of a new month, a DC title, Hmm, isn't there a DC superhero that has a big movie coming out that week? Hmm, I think there is. And I wouldn't be surprised if that character isn't featured on our next cover by. See you then.